is still a few okay we'll we'll talk about it so i assume that you're using something like es6 or something like that right okay you use transpilers okay how many of you just write javascript without transpilers okay and you still enjoy it yeah it's it's hard to enjoy javascript <laughs> now i tried it seriously but no <laughs> that doesn't work okay so my name is uh, vagni uh, i am heading a small consulting uh, company called tarka labs uh, we do web and mobile development uh, so i have i mean i write a lot of javascript and uh, i've been using esx a lot these days uh, before that i did a little bit of coffee script and i mean anything that would not let me write javascript but still write javascript i would take that actually so my journey into functional programming languages came uh, through uh, lisp actually so i started off with scheme uh, very early on and then i did common lisp and then uh, i discovered closure and so on and so forth and finally i discovered that you know what even if you have to write javascript you don't have to write javascript actually so thanks to transpilers and so on and so forth so i my journey with functional programming properly started with i would say closure and closure script actually now uh, the thing that i liked really about uh, closure and closure script is that it was on the jvm uh, i mean i was a java programmer so i all the libraries were just uh, interop away or they had excellent wrappers over everything and uh, they also had closure scripts after a while and the best thing that ever happened to closure script was david nolan actually so he uh, he created ohm and uh, he, i think this uh, bodil had given a talk called uh, developing for the browser in the post frp world as if there was some sort of an apocalyptic thing but uh, that is very true because after ohm came in uh, it kind of gave this perspective of how you could use functional programming and immutable data structures and still have a very i mean very well reasoned uh, user interface very well said and from that point on i started discovering more languages like that i actually uh, had a brief sojourn with elm as well and then uh, uh, elm is very nice but at the same time uh, elm is uh, what do you say i mean it, it it's still evolving and there is a, it, it is very opinionated on the kind of things that you can do with its type system and so on and so forth it is it is pretty pretty nice but uh, and then i discovered pure script which is uh, far more stricter far more uh, what do you say uh, uh, elegant form of uh functional program uh, strongly typed functional programming language targeting the browser right so usually as programmers the first thing you do uh when you do that is you write hello world right or hello pure script now the the trouble with writing hello world in languages like haskell 